so disenchanted with what's going on from the president on down to Congress, both both sides of the aisle, that they're looking for uh, for a change. And uh, I think maybe part of that message may be delivered tonight. And I think um, the biggest hurdle he had was to be known politically because he hadn't done that much political things prior to his running in the election. So he had to go across the whole seventh district and meet meet more of the people that he had met in the primary. So I think that was his biggest hurdle to make sure that people didn't forget, even though he won the primary and he won the primary not only with Republican votes. So I think that was kind of proven. Just that he's so qualified. He's, he's qualified in economics. He's a people person. He's a warm person. He's very approachable. And and I trust him. I trust him. Well, I think the thing is, he stands for his principles. He's going to stand for his principles. And he said to hold him accountable if he doesn't stand for his principles. And that's what I like. He wants to, uh, he knows what he stands for and he'll stand for it. And if he doesn't, people should tell him. I think what he did was really uh, get the people involved. He had hundreds and hundreds of volunteers taking phone calls and uh, he was knocking on doors for him. And he attributed his success to that, which is, which is what representative government is all about. Hug everybody. Hang on a minute.